Hello guys, I'm here at Castlemaine for Castlemaine Part 2. Today you should see a heritage train as well as some ordinary V-lines. So hopefully you enjoy it. Currently standing on platform 3 is some old signals. Both of these trucks are used for the heritage railway to Malden. Now a kind staff member has let me inside the signal box, so I'll just show you around a bit. I'm not sure how everything works. Just got to be careful. Well, a kind member of staff let me in and got to actually switch a lever. Sorry I couldn't show you, but yeah, it was really good. I'd recommend for you to come here for watching. So, up the tracks, there's a turntable. This is used for steam locomotives, turning them around. It's also a carriage which is labelled explosives. Now, it probably doesn't contain any, but I wouldn't want to risk it. Anyway. Apparently there used to be a yard on either side of the tracks once upon a time, but it's been removed now. going down. This is a crossing. This is how you can cross the tracks. This line actually used to be duplicated the whole way but after regional fast rail they had to remove one of the tr tracks at some of at some stages of the line but true tracks still remain. Platform used to be a bit uh, wider back then. Hopefully they can reinstate it soon. Anyway, here's a crossing. That's a walk towards Bendigo. And Swan Hill Etruca. That's an overview of the platform. And it looked with Melbourne. That looks like there probably would have once been tracks there, but they must have been removed. This shed type thing. Okay, shortly we should have a velocity. You can see it now. This is going to be a Southern Cross service. VL24 and VL21 Velocity's now departing Its next stop will be Malmesbury, then Kyneton.
You might have heard the new ringtone for the beginning of an announcement, but I first heard with regional rail link. It looks as if today V lines are only using platform number one, because the next service probably can't see is going to Echuca, as you just saw before. Last service is going to Southern Cross. There's nothing on the indicator screen on this platform. Overview of the platform from this end. There's the signal box. And then there's this interesting car marker here. 125.600 kilometers to Maryborough. And I'm pretty sure you can't operate that, that no trains go on that line anymore. Well, they haven't for years, and they may be unable to now. Hopefully that reopens soon. But nevertheless, and there's just a few safety type signs. Signal. Semaphore signals. Then some more signals. Okay, short. Shortly there'll be an Echuca service, as the announcement said. We'll be stopping all stations from here. And the velocity, velo yes, the velocity is now arriving. VL, well, I'd say VL zero, but I don't know actually. Well, it's either VL zero or VL one hundred. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I have to check that up. Just a three car service going through to Echuca. And the staff have blown the whistle. So the velocity should now be able to depart. And we've got the heritage train returning from Malden. It is being hauled by a Y-class locomotive because it is summer and due to fire restrictions they cannot run steam trains. Y-133 is leading. Got some heritage cars as well. The Torrent Goldfields Railway is marked on one of them.
got the Y class locomotive up there. We'll probably just reverse and drive back into the platform. All the points just changed. I think, or the signals. Maybe that car's going off towards the turntable. Anyway. And the Y Pass locomotive is moving again. It's going off onto the other track. And the Y-Class locomotive is still, well, it's running up there. Well, I think the points are just being changed now by the signalman up there. And here it goes. And soon it will lock on to the carriages. Now it should be locked on. And it will just hide a bit of a while, I believe. And we've got the car returning. The carriage actually has the Overland written on it. So maybe it was once used for Overland services before it was converted to standard gauge. It's rather interesting. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I hope you enjoyed seeing some heritage rail as well as some modern velocities in this vlog. Make sure you give it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye for now.